Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick, and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can find the remainder, or modulus, on the Casio FX9750 G3 calculator. To do this, we'll use the Option key that looks like this, located here, the Comma key that looks like this, located here, the Bracket keys that look like this, located here, and the F1 through F6 function keys located across the top here. Let's say we were given 137 divided by 7 and wanted to know the remainder. To do that, we start by going to the modulus function or modulus app, and we do this by hitting the option key, then the F6, and then the F4 for num, and then the F6 again. And now under F4, we see mod for modulus or remainder. So if we hit that, we now see mod on our screen with an open bracket. We can go ahead and enter our 137, comma, 7, and then close our bracket. And hit exe. And there we go, we get a remainder of 4. Unfortunately, this doesn't show us how many times 7 goes into 137, but if we want to find that, we can easily do it by going 137 divided by 7. And now we know 7 goes into 137 19 times with 4 remainder. What's the remainder of 15 divided by 5? Again, we start with the mod or modulus with the open bracket, enter our first number, which was 15, comma, 5, close our bracket, and hit exe, and see we get a remainder or modulus of 0, which makes sense because we know 5 goes into 15 three times with no remainder. We can also find the remainder of exponential division, like 5 to the power of 3 divided by 3. To do this, from the same menu, we choose F5 mod E. There we go, mod exponential. And then we hit the first number, which was 5, comma. And then the next number will be the exponent. So that's 3, comma again and then the last number, which was three, and close our brackets. So for this one, we're entering three numbers. And we hit exe, and there we go. We get a remainder or modulus of two. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, Good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.